Today I want to talk to you about the concept of adaptability within the structural integration paradigm. And uh, it's, a, it's an important concept, adaptability. It's not that complex. Um, and once you really understand it, you'll see it everywhere and how uh, it really does influence most things in nature. Um, adaptability is sort of the opposite of stability. And we always are, are looking at it from a, from, a, from a proportion standpoint, a spectrum. Some things are absolutely stable and very stiff, and then some things are completely adaptable, like a blob on the ground. We want to find the structure to be somewhere in between. We want enough stability in the body to where it can withstand the forces that we put on it. And we want enough adaptability to where when random forces come into the system that we're unprepared for, the system can absorb them without necessarily breaking. A perfect example of this is a building on the West Coast that's been um, built so that it can withstand the forces of, of an earthquake. Nowadays, they, the, the buildings are built, built to be relatively flexible. The shaking ground shakes, the building flexes. When the earthquake is over, the building is still upright. So the stability of the building actually depends on some flexibility in it so that the outside force of the earthquake doesn't break it. If that building were completely rigid and upright, as soon as the force of, of the earthquake was too much for that stability to handle, boom, you've got a broken building. Same thing in your body. We want stability, like a building. We want to be able to move around um, upright, ease of movement. But we also want to withstand the forces that the, that the world puts on us, um, whether that's running or swimming or sitting. All of these uh, movements, adaptability is, really the abil the, adaptability is really the ability to move fluidly without having damage come into the system. When you work fascially, the fascial system uh, gives your body structure, but it also gives um, those structures the ability to slide and glide in relation to each other. When those structures become adheded, for some reason, um, those reasons can be varied, trauma, development, behavioral patterning, etc. When the structure becomes too rigid, the nervous system, the, the, the body's control of movement stops being able to move the body in the way that it wants to. And mostly what we're doing in a structural integration scenario is we're going into an area that's been restricted in movement and we're, we're taking away the barriers of movement. We're, we're taking away the adhesions that have built up within that fascial system so that the body can re return to slide and glide so that it can have some, some adaptability and thus the body's nervous system, the internal uh, movement control system within our body can return that ankle or shoulder back to where it wants to be, to optimal movement. 